who wins the American League Central? Yeah, uh, I recently had a change of heart here, and it's the Cleveland Guardians. I think that the Guardians are going to win the American League Central. I think that what they do in terms of offensive depth, I know we talked about that with Houston a couple weeks ago. I think that Cleveland runs out an incredibly deep lineup. I also think that they run out a very solid front three in that rotation with Shane Bieber, Tristan McKenzie, and Cal Quantrill. Emmanuel Classe, maybe not named Edwin Diaz as the best closer in baseball right now. He is certainly number two. But one guy in that setup role is back. James Karinchak has kind of been a hot button topic in baseball since 2021. You know, he was one that, hey, the spider tag crackdown happened. Then he sees a massive regression in his numbers. Is there a correlation here? I'm not quite sure. But what James Karinchak has done so far this year, over 20 ish appearances, has been otherworldly. He's throwing to a sub 1.5 ERA. So if you can, if you can shorten the game to seven innings using that starting rotation, using that offense, and you can run out James Karinchak in the eighth, Emmanuel Classe in the ninth, I think the game's over. It kind of feels like what Kansas City did in 2015, where the starters just needed to go six innings. And then you turned it over to, and these might be deep cut names, Kelvin Herrera in the seventh, Wade Davis in the eighth, Greg Holland in the ninth. The game was over. If you had the lead, the Royals won the game. That feels like what Cleveland can do. Uh, you will also like this, being a college basketball guy. On yesterday's show, I compared uh, Stephen Kwan, their leadoff man, to Tyler Eulis, the former Kentucky point guard, because what they do is not sexy, but it's perfect. Tyler Eulis was the perfect point guard. Assist to turnover ratio is phenomenal. He didn't make mistakes. Stephen Kwan does not make mistakes on the baseball field.